shall report the theft of the firearm within 24 hours of becoming aware of the theft to the local law enforcement agency in the city of Honda. That's good. That would be amenable. Yeah, it sounds good. Right. Are there um, questions for the sponsor? All right. Uh, Senator, right, do you right, have... call this me and his gun bill again. Senator <laughs> <laughs> oh, Silver, sure. Just trying to follow your bracketing there. Are, are you leaving on line four loss, or are you bracketing loss out as well? Yeah, the words... And, and she's going to do a Senate committee substitute that will be for all of us to review, so I was just trying to give her a flavor, but... Um, yeah, and, and the, just the quick bracketing that I did on line four, the word loss followed by the word or would both be bracketed out. So and again, it's just for flavor. It's, it's not, it's not, it's not. But are you seeing loss back on line two? Uh, loss is taken off of line two. Loss is taken off of line two. Yep. Everything referring. So it's basically if it's just stolen. Correct. Yeah. And then when you become aware that it's been stolen, any other questions for the sponsor? Senator, do you have any witnesses to call by name? Everybody behind me wants to speak. No. Anyone to speak in favor of the bill? Anyone to speak in favor? Anyone to speak in opposition? Anyone to speak for informational purposes only? None. Senator? Tell you the same thing I told. Um, thank you. Thank you. Do you have any closing comments? I, I just want to say thank you for giving me the opportunity to present uh, two bills that I just presented to the committee. Uh, these are bills that I truly believe uh, will reduce nonviolence uh, in the area in which I represent, and also uh, reduce uh, suicide. Okay. With exception of gun violence, with exception of violence. All right. Well, thankful. Thank you for your willingness to be uh, flexible on these bills. All right. That will um, end the hearing on five six five, and um, I move that we go into executive session, seconded by Senator Shaw. We're in executive session, and. Can I sit here? You're you're welcome to sit wherever you want, Senator. Thank you. All right, so what do we have on the list today? All right, well, let's start with an easy one. Um, hopefully you remember Senator Wallingford was in front of us recently talking about Medical Radiation Day, Senate Bill 527. So I would move that we do pass Senate Bill 527, or excuse me, take up Senate Bill 527. Second. There's, I have a second. And um, was, it, was it a consent bill? He did ask for consent status, yep. yep. So now consent bill. You are. <laughs> <laughs> you always make me nervous, so <laughs> you always make me nervous. No, I, what came to mind was like, I, it made me wonder why we just had a hearing on those other two bills. If, that, if that's the way we're going to play. All right. So, uh, is there a discussion on Senate Bill 527? I move that we do pass Senate Bill 527. Madam Secretary, please call the roll. Senator Wallingford? Yes. Senator Shaw? Yes. Senator Nieves? Aye. Senator Slavla? Aye. Romine? Aye. Sylvie? Aye. Holzman? Aye. Nasheed? Aye. Okay, by your vote of a unanimous vote. Therefore, reflecting the bipartisan nature of this committee, you have voted to pass Senate Bill 527. I now move for consent status on Senate Bill 527, seconded by, I almost thought that was Senator Holzman, but I, was, then, I, then I realized that I don't really know what his voice sounds like. Now. Seconded by 
Let's, let's, and let's, you let's, tonight. let's let Senator Holzman <laughs> 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 All right, so the motion is uh, for consent. Is there a discussion on the consent motion? Right. Madam Secretary, call the roll on the consent staff. Chairman Yevas? Aye. Vice Chair Shaw? Aye. Senators Leibla? Aye. Romine? Aye. Sylvie? Aye. Holzman? Aye. Nishi. Aye. All right, by your unanimous vote, you have voted that bill to have consent status. Uh, next bill that I would move we take up is Senate Bill 599. Do I have a second on that? Seconded by Senator Shaw. Senate Bill 599, we do have a committee substitute that Senator Kraus has so Senate Bill 599, um, most of you will remember, is the bill concerning the automated license plate readers. And so I believe the difference in the Senate Committee substitute has to do specifically with changing the time that they can keep the data. And Senator, Senator um, Krause, when he presented the bill, he did uh, tell us what the Senate Committee substitute was going to contain and that it would have the provision where they could use the data for 30 days and then after 30 days only investigators would be able to have access to it and then after one year, it would be purged. So um, I would move for the adoption of the Senate Committee substitute. Is there a second? Senator Shaw seconds the adoption of the Senate Committee substitute. So the motion before us is the adoption of the Senate Committee substitute. Is there a discussion? Senator Silver. Did we ever get an answer to whether the data is subject to subpoena for civil actions? I have not been made aware of that. No. I know that question came up. Really, because I, I don't know if any other committee members have that. So I don't know if, they, if anybody ever answered it or not. Sounds like maybe not. Okay, thank you. Any other questions, uh, Senator? I'm sorry, tell me your name again. How does that you guess? So, how how are we going to police the police? I mean, how are we going to make sure, because if we put a penalty provision in here uh, that says a person commits the offense, misuse of license is a uh, class D felony, how would we ever know that the police are holding the data longer than a year or longer than 30 days? How is, how is there any check on it? I think that we have to rely on the NSA. Okay. You want to put that in here? Um, you know what? I, I don't know the answer to that question. Of course, this is not my bill, so. Yeah, um, I, mean, I support I, it. I support it. I just want to. Yeah, I, I think I think what happened here, and and you know, this is this is one of those few but growing areas where you and I agree, and that is in the area of personal privacy. I think what Senator Kraus was concerned about is the status quo right now without this bill allows um, law enforcement be able to use this data in any way they please. There, there's no constraints on how they can use it. And so, um, if I remember correctly from his testimony, yeah. the, the idea here was to begin to put some degree this of This is eminently better in status quo. I'm just curious as to how we how we check. I, I do check. Senator Clyde. Well, in court, you go through discovery and don't deliver the problem. Mm -hmm. So, that's, what, that's how you do it. So, yeah. okay. All right, that's fine. That's good enough. Okay. Other discussion on the adoption of the substitute? All right, well then I will move you pass, or I'm sorry, I move again that we adopt the Senate Committee substitute. That would be a voice vote. And so uh, everyone in favor, say aye. Aye. If you want to close, say no. As you have it, as you have it, you have adopted the Senate Committee substitute. I now move. Do pass on the Senate Committee substitute for Senate Bill 599. Is there discussion on the do pass motion? So none, Madam Secretary, call the roll. Thank you, Senator 
finish off second with the uh, Chairman Nieves? Aye. Vice Chairman Shaw? Aye. Senators Livla? Aye. Romine? Aye. Zilby? Aye. Holzman? Aye. Nasheed? Aye. Once again, reflecting the bipartisan nature of this committee, we have a unanimous vote, and you have voted to pass the Senate Committee Substitute. And the last one that we will bring up for a vote breaking news. The second to the last one that we'll take up is um, Senate Bill 523, which is um, Senator Emery's bill on the RFID usage in school districts. We do not have a Senate committee substitute on that one, so it is the bill before you. Um, I would move do pass Senate Bill 5, or excuse me, that we take up Senate Bill 523. I have a second? Second. Second by Senator Leibla. I now move that we do pass Senate Bill 523. Is there a discussion? Yeah. Sen yes, Senator Shaw. You remember uh, the issue of, uh, of having them only have a certain range Is that something we want to put in here? You know, I I, um, I talked a little bit. Again, this is not my bill, so I, I don't want to seem like I'm being its biggest advocate. But um, I talked to the bill sponsor. And making the unit or the, the device that the students would carry, making it have minimal power would not, according to what I've been told, would not. Um, eliminate the possibility of it being tracked. So I'm I'm not an expert on this technology, but that's the answer that I would do. Never mind. Uh, Senator Holden. Is it possible uh, for us to maybe have like an omnibus privacy bill where we can take this bill and this bill and Dr. Shop has a digital privacy bill and I have a search and seizure bill. I mean it would just be nice to have I, a I restoration of privacy sure. on this bill. I, I would be very open-minded, not only open-minded, but helpful. Okay. Maybe we do a floor sub on one of these numbers. Sure. Any other discussion on the uh, due pass motion? Seeing none, Madam Secretary, call the roll. Chairman Shaw? Aye. Senators Lively? Aye. Romine? Aye. Sylvie? Aye. Bolzman? Aye. Nishi? Aye. Once again, reflecting the bipartisan nature of this committee, we have a unanimous vote, and you have voted to pass Senate Bill 523. Now, this is the last one we'll take up today, and it is Senate Bill 6. 656, which the number of that one sounded almost familiar to another bill that we heard today, so it gave me pause. Um, okay, yes, yeah, 656 as opposed to 565. All right, just so there's no confusion, we're, I'm moving that we take up Senate Bill 656, which is Senator Krause's bill. That was second. Seconded by Senator Shaw. Now move that we do pass Senate Bill 656. Is there a discussion on the do pass? Senator Holt. I do apologize for missing this hearing. What was the reasoning? Because when I got my CCW, I did both, and I thought it was appropriate to demonstrate handling of both, both pieces, why we did very well. Yeah, I, there would be a possibility that you may have done yours um, after, initially, the law said that you had to fire a certain number with each one round item. Each one, yeah. Later, perhaps after you got yours, because I know you were one of the first people that wanted to get out there and get one, um, they changed it to make the requirement many more rounds. Okay? So what's happening now 
is if you have people, particularly, and I've, and even though I'm not the sponsor of this bill, I, I have heard the same complaint as Senator Krause was talking about, and that is particularly uh, elderly people um, really have been saying that they have a, they have a, a hard time getting through that many rounds that they can demonstrate marksmanship without having to shoot that many rounds. And so basically this bill uh, reduces the number of rounds that they would have to shoot. It reduces the number of rounds or reduces this, the type of, of handgun that they have to shoot? Because I would be okay with reducing the number of rounds that each, each one had to fire, but I think firing both, both semi-auto and hand revolvers is probably still a pretty good idea. Yeah, well let's just take a look at it just because I think it does not I don't think it lifts the requirement. Yeah, revolver, pan, some of it. Yeah, I think it just comes down to. to yeah, it just reduces. It just reduces the number that you have to buy. It says either a revolver or something. You know, it's either. Yeah. So you would choose which one you want, but I think that what what was the original purpose of, of requiring both? So you have a demonstrative ability. And a skill set to operate both both styles of handguns. I'm not sure relieving the individual of that duty. If they're a senior citizen and they can't fire the other one, we've got to want them having a CCW. Yeah, you should I, be able to operate both both kinds. Of, I mean, I'll just vote no. But I'm just saying that it's not that I have a problem with with that. I just think that you know we should make it easier. Yeah, you you and I. Found several things that we do agree on, but there are still <laughs> a long laundry right. list of things That's that we fine. don't agree on. So I, I well, I'll, I'll, respect I'll just disagree. I'll just vote no and take it up on the floor. Right. Any other questions or comments on the bill? <coughs> and do I have a second for the due pass motion? Seconded by Senator Lyle. All right. No further discussion. Madam Secretary, call the roll on Senate Bill 656. Chairman Nieves? Aye. Vice Chairman Shaw? Aye. Senators Leibla? Aye. Romine? Aye. Sylvie? Aye. Bolzman? No. Nasheed? No. Oh, by your vote of five to two, you have shown an overwhelming support of, uh, <laughs> for this bill. Seeing no other business coming before the committee, this meeting is adjourned.